What is up YouTube? Taylor and Matt are back at it again with another couples Q&A. Guys, I mentioned this a couple weeks back that we were gonna want to do this again. Last time we did it, we were in beautiful Aruba with like an awesome little like ocean sunset going on in the background, but now we're back in the freezing cold Pennsylvania in a room. So you know what? It is what it is. Hopefully next time we'll be somewhere else really cool. But how this is gonna work today, I asked you guys for literally two weeks to Drop your questions below. Many of you guys did, so thank you so much. So we picked the best four that we're gonna ask each other. And then last but not least, we're gonna pick one question. She doesn't know what my question is. I don't know what her question is. Last time we did this, it kind of stirred up a little fight on the channel. And Taylor is currently prepping for her bikini show in like, what, 18 weeks? Yep. So she's really sassy right now and oh hangry. My God. So you know what? I might not be alive better in this video. We'll find out. So guys, sit back. Relax, and I hope you guys enjoy this couple's Q&A. Alrighty guys, to start us off today, question numero uno is going to be, who is our favorite guy in girl in the fitness industry? So Taylor, the mic is yours. So, I feel like it's basic, but I love Steve Cook and Courtney King. And I've been told I look like Steve Cook. They're to <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> they're together, and they live together in Utah, I think, Matt, right? Yep. But I just like them, I think they're genuine. I mean, I've never met them before. If I could meet them, that'd be awesome. One day. But I just feel like they're both genuine people and yeah. So I gotta go with Max Tuning, number one. Steve Cook's a close second, but Max Tuning's definitely number one. A, the guy is hilarious. I love that he calls himself a potato. And then B, I get a ton of YouTube like ideas and he's just a huge inspiration for me just watching his videos. He's hilarious, I just love how he edits the videos. Everything just flows so nicely. And like, I just feel like he's one of those guys like him and I will be able to go eat like a beer one day. And then kick back and relax and talk about life and maybe eat some sweet potato fries. I don't know. I don't know. We both like sweet potatoes, so it could work out. And girl, just because I don't know a lot of girls in the fitness industry, so I got to go Courtney King as well. Just because, A, she dates Steve Cook. I love Steve Cook as well. Um, and, um... And Poppy. Poppy makes oh them my both gosh, so much dog, better too because that dog, dog is account. so adorable. I love Poppy Cook. I feel like I actually might like Poppy, Poppy more than them, but right now <laughs> the verdict's still out. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Our favorite guys and girls in the fitness industry. So the next question is, what was our first impressions of each other? Oof, this was a good one. So I honestly, it was so freaking long ago. I thought Taylor was very, very attractive at first. Okay, she was. You're still, still very attractive, babe. But she has like this like look on her face. Like look at that look right now, guys. It's just look like, it's just like an angry look. Like I always RBF. thought she's, I don't want to say that, but resting B face, if you know what I'm saying. But she's such a sweetheart. That's the thing though, guys. So when I, I saw her, I'm like, wow, this girl's gorgeous. But she's like. Okay, and we only ever saw sass. each other at the, the gym. The sass. And I just take it very, like when I go to the gym, I put my headphones in and that's it. I just do my workout. I don't like talk. To a thousand people I'm and friendly dilly dally so I feel like people take that as I'm being mean but I just I don't know I'm just guys it's intimidating as anything Laser literally focused. just like imagine like you walk in a room it's like it's not all the time that's what that's what I, that's what I dealt with guys for four years and then I got to know her and then she's awesome so all right your turn first impression of Matt again like I said I only really saw him at the gym and I feel like I can't say this word I feel like he was a, like, without ever knowing him, just based on looks, he was a little like douchey. Oh, wait, wait, can we, can we put a picture in here? It's the classic. <laughs> he was in the gym shirtless at a Christian college. Oh, so yeah, so just from, he was super attractive, obviously, but I just remember seeing him and being like, put a shirt on, bro. Okay, like, in my defense, you guys remember that big man on campus, like bodybuilding thing, bodybuilding.com, Steve Cook was doing, yeah. and I needed content for that, so I was trying to do that, so it took my Yeah, but off. I just remember him being at the gym, and like, I don't know why I always, like, would stare at his obliques, because they were <laughs> so, like, oh my gosh. But he always wore cutoffs or no shirt at all, so I'd always just, like, stare at him and be like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. And I was really good friends with his friend, Junior, so I feel like I was always like, so how's Matt doing? <laughs> But it was only until four years later that we actually started dating. And that's how it all began. Yeah, first impression. How it all began. Much different than real life. Question number three is going to be, so we have to pick this for each other. If you were stranded on an island and were allowed to bring, well, Taylor was allowed to bring what item, what would it be, and then she would pick my item. So for her, guys, it is going to be her blanket. 
He literally <laughs> loves this green blanket. I have like a couple pictures. I'm gonna insert them right now as I'm talking about this green blanket. She brings it <laughs> everywhere. She brings it to my house when she comes over. She brings it to her house. She brings it to sleepover. She brings it literally I'll everywhere. I'll make her really comfortable with you. No, she brings it everywhere, guys. And I, I kid you not, like she'll literally be sitting there and this is it. She'll tuck her nose into it like this because she claims it smells really good and it puts her to sleep. So I'll be looking over and I, literally, I'll be looking over. She's like, I'm like, yo, are you okay? She's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. She loves her blanket. So if she was stuck on an island, she would 100% bring. At least bring, I'd sleep well. She would bring this blanket. Okay. If you were stuck on an island, he would bring the camera. <laughs> And he'd be like waving his hands around and be like, this is a palm tree, guys, and this is this, and this is this, and I'm still getting my workout today. You gotta do it for the vlog. You gotta do it for the vlog. Such a, here's all the sick angles as I'm stranded on an island. Do you guys imagine like that, the island series? I'd probably call it the island. Like, I'm already brainstorming. Oh my god. The island series. His, his camera. I'm gonna be like, Wilson! 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 Pick up on that reference? She's good, guys. She's good. Okay, so the fourth question is what is a silly habit that not a lot of people know about? So I'll answer for Matt and then he'll answer for me. All right, starting off with Taylor. Every single time that I asked Taylor to pop open her trunk <laughs> for her car, guys, she literally would go like this. It's my butt. She'd be like, doot, 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 doot. <laughs> Literally every single time. She'll like pop the trunk. I'm like, okay. She'll just start shaking her butt every time I ask her. Pop her trunk. Like it's literally like the like most like subconscious thing. She just start like shaking her butt a little bit. So that's like a little habit I've noticed. Like, I feel like it was a joke at first, and now I just always it's just do it. It's out of habit. Like no matter where we're going, I'm like, yo, pop the trunk real quick, and she'll like just like wiggle her butt around. So yeah, like a little bunny rabbit. All right. Well, Matt, a lot of you might not know this, but he has a little touch of OCD. Oh my goodness. So oh my goodness. There's many silly habits that go on, especially at nighttime, like before bed rituals. I don't know why <laughs> nighttime like stirs the pot, but let's just say one of them. So I'll probably name a couple in a couple videos after this. But one of them is he checks every single night, he checks the bed for spiders. Oh my goodness, guys. Let me tell every you. night. Like we sleep pretty uh. much in the same two places, either at his house or at my house, like the same bed. And every night I come in and he literally is like in the bed like this, like holding the covers up with his flashlight, <laughs> his flashlight looking for spiders. Time. I'm like, what the heck? Nightmare story, guys. I kid you not. I got bit one night, okay? I woke up in the morning. I thought it was a mosquito bite, but no, it was a spider bite. So I went upstairs, lifted up my covers. There you have it. It was a massive spider. Like, I mean massive. It's probably like the size of my thumb now, but that's freaking massive to me. <laughs> and ever since that day... I checked the bed. But for like, spiders. if I get in bed first, he'd be like, "Did you check the bed?" I'm like, "Yeah." And she'll lie. She'll be like, yeah, I, I did, never but she never did. <laughs> and we're gonna get bit one night. And it's gonna be our own fault. All right, the guys, for the final round of tonight, the final round of questions, I'm going to ask Taylor a question. She doesn't know what that question is, and she's gonna ask, you know, vice versa, question to me. So, Taylor, ladies first. Start. No, go. You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. Um, in elementary school, I starred in a play, okay? Starting a play, it was a huge, huge opportunity for me. Hey, little pigs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what pig was I? The first. I was the first pig. How'd you know that? I don't think I ever thought, I was the first pig, guys. You never told me. Yes, you had. The wolf came, play. the wolf came, and he blew the house right down, guys. It Bam. Good. It was a good thing. Okay, well, props. That was good, that was good. You didn't have to finish the question. No, she was on that one. All okay. Right. Oh man. So, <laughs> I'm gonna get this you off. should know this uh, more than the last time. Uh. So I'm a nurse and I work in a NICU right now, but I'm also like super into fitness obviously and all that stuff. So right now, what is my dream job? Or like, but you have to be specific about like what I want to be doing. The diabetic educator job. Yes. But like, for who? For those that are into fitness. Yeah, that's the closest one. <laughs> yeah. I want to be a diabetic educator, but not just for like everyone. I want to just be it for like athletes or people into fitness. Too. So if you guys know any diabetic, if you guys know any diabetic educators that are hiring right now, 
right there, guys. But look, I'm not gonna be in the doghouse tonight. I, I know. answered the question yeah. correctly. Yeah. So, huge relief. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. Thank you so much for all those that asked questions. We, like I said, we picked what we thought were gonna be the best for, and then we were able to ask the last ones ourselves. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe. I have Taylor's blog as well in the description below. I'm just waving my hands all over the place like she Always. said. And I will see you guys in the next video.